Hey guys, it's Adam. I want to talk about an interesting uh, dilemma that we are experiencing and attempting to help people network in the state of Arkansas. And the title of this video I'm going to call How Far Out is Too Far Out? Meaning that we all think that the optimal location to live, to bug out, and things like that is way out in the middle of the country. You know, side road off a side road, off a side road, off another side road with no road signs. And I'm seeing that that might not be the total case because, bear with me, and this is nothing against anybody uh, uh, that lives out in the middle of nowhere and is kind of really isolated. I'm just making an observation and pointing it out for other people to look at and consider. So with that said, um, I'm starting to see, and my theory has always been, and it's been preached to me, that you want to live far enough away from a metropolis, but also kind of be on the outskirts of a town a small town to where you can be considered, excuse me, I got dogs trying to throw balls and stuff at me, to where you can be considered a part of the town, but you're not in the town, and you're still kind of isolated. That way you can still be part of a community of other folks in the area, like-minded folks, things like that. You have reasonable access to each other if something were to happen. What I'm seeing is, and I'll give you an example, uh, at Arkansas Preparedness Network, we do things all over the state of Arkansas. We try our best and we try and advise people on how to uh, organize meet and greets in their area in some of the more rural areas. And what I'm seeing demographically is there's a huge concentration in the northwest region, the Ozarks. In central Arkansas there's a moderate concentration. But up in the northeast part of Arkansas, southeast part of Arkansas, and southern part of Arkansas extremely thin and we really are trying to get people together down there and it's 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 a rural very rural area uh, travel is sometimes not easy uh, but it's very difficult because people are so far out and away from each other in those areas that it's hard for people to spend the money to drive to a central location and meet each other just because they're so out there and isolated and spread apart, there's not a huge concentration of people in those areas. Uh, really, there's not a huge concentration of people in Arkansas at all. That's why we all love it. But anyways, it's something for you to think about. You can find your land and your bug out location or whatever you want to call it, but how far away from resources and communities that you can get involved in that can help you out is too far. Uh, how far out is too far that people are kind of not going to be too willing to come out and help you if you need help or vice versa if you need to go help them or be part of a community function uh, I have no answers that's a personal choice you need to make but it's something to consider and just think about that you know you hear a lot of people uh, out there that that want to be active and we want them to be active and meet others but it's just a uh, very difficult for them themselves and others to get to them so just think about that consider it um, just one more brain nugget to throw out there for folks looking for a place and when they move or looking to come out this way or wherever you're headed um, you might want to be a little closer to a small community than you think just so you have those people to uh, uh, meet with and, and, and form a community with instead of being so far away that you're isolated in the middle of nowhere. Okay, you guys take care, have a good week, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.